Hello everybody, thanks for checking out another video of me. Um, in this one um, I will be going over WooCommerce again. In the last video I've used the free theme of Cadence and showed some of the basic settings through the customizer, how we can do some stuff there. Um, but it gives a lot of options, but it's still a bit limited. It's not like uh, uh, as flexible to change the whole layout, but we can do this with the Cadence ShopKit plugin. Let me show you. A lot of things that have to be updated. This is one, Cadence ShopKit. This is the version we uh, or the plugin we need to install to be able to make custom templates this is a one that's included in the paying uh, the cadence pro package you will have the cadence shop kit included as well cadence elements i also have installed here cadence elements is something i've used in a previous video i've i will put a uh, link now that you can click on if you want to check this out in that video we made a a custom archive for a, a blog post for certain blog posts where we can completely change the layout and the styling of the loop items but cadence elements does not work with uh, woocommerce we can do some stuff with cadence elements you can add text you can add uh, buttons you can change some stuff but you can't really replace the default store layout with a custom one for that you need the cadence shop kit I have my products page you see this is the default layout that cadence uh, that is installed now the colors and stuff is of course not something that is uh, installed by default you see this little test message here this is something that i've inserted with cadence elements so cadence elements lets me insert stuff but it doesn't really let me change the complete layout uh, i'm going to change this back first to I, you can see these settings in my previous video to the product catalog and I'm going to scroll to the bottom and I'm going to make a little bit more columns like three I think looks fine so this is something like a normal shop page might look like um, I'm going to also remove the test I might make a video in the future where you can see where you can insert certain pieces of text so if I go to my um, appearance cadence elements you will see test is enabled here now let me open this up you see it's just this word test that's inserted inside or underneath the uh, image of the product and if you see if i go to the publication settings the element settings loop item title i have selected so a loop item uh, the title uh, is in and you see woocommerce archive we have the before loop before loop item loop item image the title the price after but you see it's not really saying replace the loop item it's only replacing or inserting certain st uh, stuff so this is something so the product before the single product single product image so this is the same thing it's enabling you to insert stuff before or after already existing things but it's not really replacing a complete product so with Cadence Elements, you have a lot of stuff that you can do here. This is not what this video is going to be about, just to show you. But for the with the shop kit, we will make a custom layout. So I'm gonna re uh, gonna remove this, refresh my page, and now the test is gone. So we have the normal layout back. What I want to do now in this video is create a layout with two columns, where the image is on the left and the text you see here. Is showing up on the right so we have a, a more a horizontal layout instead of the vertical standard layout okay even if you do this like this something like this but then with without needing to sort it okay just to give you an impression what you can do with the cadence shop kit so we go to you will see if you scroll down you have a shop kit uh, extra menu item if you activated the plugin and here you can enable or disable a lot of uh, things in this video we are only going to talk about product templates so we go to this one we're going to enable product templates and we're going to click on save <clears throat> if we've done that if you go to products now you will see we have an extra option woo template after we've clicked on the woo templates we can create a new one this has the same layout that you might remember from the Cadence elements it looks a little bit the same so we can make a single product template 
a product catalog loop item and we can also create a new product archive template. For this video we're going to create a catalog loop item. In one of the next videos I am also going to show uh, one example of how you can create a single product template. Let's click on new. We make a product catalog loop item and we can start blank or we can import this one. We're going to do that. We're going to call this a custom template shop shop item for example and you see it's built now like this we have an image on top then we have a row layout with a section and in the section we have three uh, blocks these blocks you see here they are also only available if you install the cadence shop kit so you, you won't see these blocks if you don't have the shop kit enabled if i select the section we have a plus here let me browse all and you see if I go down we have the default blocks and then here we have the Woo template blocks so all these blocks are now available for us and some of these blocks only work with a template uh, so these I can use in the template that we're doing now for example but this one is only going to work in a single uh, item This one is only going to work in a single product um, item, so uh, this is not going to work if I insert it here because this is a loop item. So, but the the block itself gives you the info. If you if I try to import this one here, you see product gallery can only be used in a single product template. So it's pretty obvious if you do the right if you don't use the right uh, block, for example. Yeah, I'm gonna remove this again. So. I'm going to just keep this layout, but I'm going to change it a little bit. We're going to make, select the row layout, make a double two column. And then I want this section to go to the right. So you can do this really easily by clicking on this uh, right arrow like this. And then we're going to select the image and going to drag it inside of the other section. So now we have a two column row layout with the image on the left and the items on the right. So let me click on publish. And now we have to set our product catalog loop item settings before we forget it because otherwise there won't be anything showing up of course. We want to display this on. You can choose this. Um, so we're going to check all product loops and then you can say again all product loops in my case but you can also say has category term for example. I only have uncategorized at the moment, but if you have a category like sale or clothing or food, you can say I want this layout only to be applied for product loops that has the category of sale, for example. So that makes it really flexible as well. But I'm going to select all product loops now and visible for all users. Update. And now if I open up my shop and refresh, you see it immediately imports the new layout. Yeah. One little thing I want to do now is make the image span across the whole container. So the thing I have to do is select my row layout and then go to the block settings, go to the advanced tab. And then you see you have some padding here, so we have to remove the padding. So we're going to select this icon. This makes it uh, so that we select everything at once. Now we have selected uh, everything at once and we're going to make this zero. So now the padding is gone. Oh, I clicked wrong. Zero. Click on update. Refresh. And you see now the image is spanning across the whole comp. So next thing we can check is the uh, clickability. Also the visibility is not optimal, so we have to change some font colors probably. Uh, but you see if I hover over the title, it makes like a it's clickable. The price is not. And also the rest of this um, right side is not clickable. So or we add a add to cart button so they have a call to action or we make the whole right section clickable the left side is already clickable so if i click on this it will open up the single product um, completely and this is because with the image settings you see enable link is uh, enabled so this means if they click on it it will go to the single product this side we can enable link as well product title that's why it's clickable and we can also set some styling options so we might want a darker color and then on hover uh, maybe a little bit lighter font size line height all those things are the same with the standard um, cadence blocks as well we can change this if we want to um, let's click on update and see how it looks now okay so this looks already better then we might want to change the price 
as well same thing color may be a little bit darker like this for example and then or we make it completely clickable we can do this by going to the section the complete section and we can put in an overlay link click on the dynamic option enable it and then we pick the post URL you don't have to do product URL because you won't find it but normally it should work with just post URL so now you see the whole section if I hover over it immediately changes the cursor and it means we can click it and if I click on it you see it opens up the it opens up the, the single product so that's working as it should if I click on the sunglasses this one you see it opens up the right product so this way we can make the whole section clickable yeah the other thing we can do is don't not use this and then just make a add a button so a product add to cart button maybe a bit lower underneath the price and then we can also set some options here we have some coloring options um, so maybe also a bit darker with a lighter hover we can set the background if we want to and then we can also make a border radius of eight pixels for example and then we just have to set some padding to make it look like a button maybe five on top five on bottom and then 12 on the right 12 on the left update refresh and now we have a button that's clickable but not the rest of the section because the overlay link is gone so that's something we can do for example okay so this is just a simple a simple uh, simple example of what is possible how you can change this layout the only thing we might want to change is this because we can still enable a sort of list view but it's not as useful because it doesn't really change the layout too much so we can go to the customizer open this up go to woocommerce product catalog and then go to the bottom and then we can say here show the toggle disable and then you will see it's gone now and they only have this uh, overview that they can see the other thing you will see is so this works fine the add to cart button if i click on a single product you will see at the bottom it also takes in the same style because this is also also a single product loop um, or an archive loop let's say and i've set in my settings here that it should be on all product loops and also here all product loops another thing we might do now because we're using a section and we're using a row layout is we can set some um, if I go to the block settings to the advanced settings we have some animate on scroll you might want to just doing some stuff maybe slide left animation let's click on the plus like this click on update and now we have some if you scroll down you see it slides in and this is just to show you that because we're using sections now we can use a little bit more animation styles and stuff um, ease and out and maybe start delay of 300 update click on refresh and now it goes a little bit slower so just an option we have you can do the same thing with the image you have to select the other section advanced animate on scroll is also something we can set up ease and out 300 and do the same things and then we have a fade effect and also a sliding in effect just to show you what is uh, possible with the sections as well so these are some um, easy ways to make a simple uh, other layout than the than the standard one of course this is just limitless you can do everything you want with the layout this is just a small example of it so you can play around with it and uh, see what uh, works for you if you have any problems or any questions leave them in the comments and if you like this video you can always help me out by leaving a like and and clicking on subscribe and then i will see you in the next one thank you bye bye